Hi, welcome back. This is Second World War from 3W, and we are in the summer of 1941. We have three turns, I think, until the Americans um, intervene, so we're going to start Barbarossa and see how far we can go with that. The position in the uh, Mediterranean does not look good for the Axis player. Um, this unit here will be out of supply, or is out of supply, and will most likely be eliminated by the British 6-5 infantry this turn. Um, I'm not sure how the Axis player is going to respond to that, but uh, we'll figure something out. Most likely the Italian unit will die. And then we have up here the beginnings of Barbarossa. I'm going to go ahead and launch launch that this turn. See where we uh, go from there. In the next couple turns, if it uh, goes really bad for the Axis, I'll probably wrap it up because it's time for me to move on to some other things. And um, that's pretty much all I have at the moment. If it does go well, I'll probably take it on into the American intervention in Europe and we'll see kind of what happens then. If it looks like Overlord and stuff is going to be a blowout, then I'll probably wrap it up then. So I have a few more turns here. But other than that, I think that's about it. So when I come back, it'll be post uh, German movement. Okay, um, I'm going to pick up the action, so to speak, in the Mediterranean first. I decided to move two Axis fleets into S Sicily Sicily in the hope that uh, well in the in the hope that we can take out this uh, allied air unit at Malta I used this fleet to move 3rd Italian uh, infantry army down to Tripoli it's kinda risky they also can be put out of supply but I'm hoping to knock out the fleet there so that it'll be a lot more difficult to put them out of supply or not the fleet but the air unit and over here at Gibraltar I didn't do any movement but I realize now that there is still another allied fleet United Kingdom fleet and it could well actually it could go ahead and transport this uh, armor unit uh, anywhere it wants in the mid so this might this has probably been a mistake but that's the way the dice fall, I guess. Um, otherwise, we just move some air around, German air around. <clears throat> we had a 5-5 five, five, uh, reinforcement here, and I just moved it down to here. We, we invaded Yugoslavia, and so far we have control of Yugoslavia. We'll see if we can maintain control of it. I'm pretty sure we can. I reread the rules and it looks like invasions, conquest, whatever. Surrender. Country surrenders doing, during the owning players immediately following supply phase. So yes, I think they have a turn to take it back. So if we can hold on to it, <coughs> excuse me, we'll have another victory point. So I think we're going to go ahead and resolve um, the Barbarossa attack. Well, let's go ahead and do the the Italian Mediterranean action first, I guess. That's probably best. So, what it looks like, pardon my big hands here, looks like a 6 to 2. The range is fine. So that's going to be 3 to 1. And we're going to roll on the 3 to 1 table. Yep, roll the two, that's no effect. So that battle is inconclusive, which is unfortunate. Uh, oops, let's move everything around here. But I do have the, eh, well this is just going from bad to worse. I do have the uh, Deutsches Africa Corps uh, ready for a transport next turn, so maybe they can uh, help out if the British decide to land in North Africa. All right, I'm going to get my hand out of the way. So I guess now we're going to do Barbarossa. And the world will hold its breath. Well, I probably won't. Anyway, 
I factor these battles into three to ones. So basically, this stack and this stack will attack the um, Russian 7 4 um, army group. And then I've got this stack and this stack will attack that Russian army group. Uh, factored into battles, uh, I have three to ones on both of those stacks. <clears throat> with the air and so I'm going to hope that we um, can see some result actually as I think about it my brain will work this stack and this stack is going after that one this stack this stack and the Hungarian unit will help attack that one they're all about 21 22 to 7 so we're going to resolve the attack to the north first. And the Northern Army Group North, I guess. So it's 3 to 1. And like I say, we are attacking this unit. 3 to 1. There is a, what is it, 33% chance of it going either no effect or uh, an exchange. And if it's an exchange, it could be pretty bloody with those 7s. And we roll a 1, which is no effect. So... Soviets hold there. I'm seeing a pattern. And then we're going to go ahead and resolve these units attacking that uh, Russian uh, army group. And we roll a three. One, two, three. Defender retreat. Well, we have something positive in that attack. Retreat one hex. No zones of control there. Unfortunately, I don't know if I put an armor unit here. I did. Thank you. We can advance with the armor unit. We could advance two hexes, but obviously there is no hex to advance. Uh, no extra hex I can advance into. Now, is advance one unit or two or whatever? Let me see. Advance. Any attacking infantry, armor, or paratroop units may... And advance into the hex. So, units is plural. So, we'll just go ahead and put uh, that unit there. Horrible mess. Okay, so we made some progress in the south, no progress in the north. Um, next turn, it looks like Germany and. No, that's just your turn. Next uh, turn will be Russia and Germany getting reinforcements. So, I think that's it. I think that's it for all the combat. Uh, movement combat supply. The Italian unit down there doesn't suffer any more supply penalties. Um, he just stays out of supply. Um, everybody else, I think, can trace a 10, uh, 10 hex path back to a supply source. So, with that, I think we're going to wrap up the Axis player turn and we'll be back with the Ally player turn. Summer 1941. Okay, here we are with the Allied part of the Summer 1941 turn. Um, there was a little bit of movement by the Allies. Not a whole lot. We did move this fleet from here over to here. It had to stop within this zone of control of the air units at Malta here so it couldn't go on out and around although it's still well actually it doesn't put this unit out of supply because here is the ZOC of the naval here's the ZOC of the air so it could come here here up to here and then swing on around and continue the supply line to Rome so it should stay in supply <clears throat> uh, throughout this turn of course, the Germans, or Axis player, will try to knock out the air fleet again on their turn. Uh, anyway, I'm going to make two attacks. The number five down there is indicative of a five to one attack. And the two up here, the Russians are going to make a counter attack at two to one against this stack. Using this air unit, this infantry army, this infantry army, and uh, armor. Core, I believe. 
Um, so, other than that, the sorry, the Allied player uh, received a four. What am I trying to say here? Received. A, oh no! Wait a minute. The six five uh, in America. Hold on a minute. Hold on. <coughs> that one goes to America, even though it's UK. Sorry about that. Well, she goes into America. Okay. It's just up there in the America box. So, we will go ahead and resolve these attacks. Down here, there's a 1 in 6 chance that this will go bad for the Allies. On the 5 to 1 table, the if you roll a 1, which is an exchange, it could get ugly for them. So, let's go ahead and roll. Sorry if that's too fast. Sorry for the interruption there. We're going to go ahead and roll the 5 to 1 attack in North Africa. On a 1, it's an exchange. And it's not. It is a D2, thereby eliminating the Italian unit. Ooh, nasty glare. At, uh... Here in Libya, or yeah, Libya. That's right. And we'll go ahead and advance that unit, the British unit. And now, hopefully, we can get up here and reduce this glare a little bit. You can tell that I'm not a public speaker, nor am I very good with uh, um, making videos. Anyway, I'm just doing this for fun, so um, take it, take it with that. So now we're going to do the two to one Russian attack against the Germans. You're going to have to trust me that I figured out these attack factors and odds uh, ahead of time. And no, I don't cheat. So we're going to roll two to one. There's a 50% chance that this will go bad. Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, what is that? 66% chance that this will go bad? Yeah, this could be bad for the Russians, but they have to make a counterattack. Well, they should make a counterattack to push the Germans back a little bit to uh, buy some breathing room for when the Americans show up. Next turn, the Russians will get a replacement unit, so this shouldn't hurt quite as bad. But it could. Okay, at two to one, not too bad. It's an attacker, attacker one. That is, attacker loses one unit. Well, I guess uh, that's that for the moment. We'll lose the seven four uh, beneath the two seven core, and that's going to pretty much wrap up turn uh, summer turn of 1941. When I come back, we will have the fall turn of 1941. See you later.